Hello, sweetheart. Today you learn about Germany's biggest problem. How everyone ignores it, including the huge discount supermarket chains, and how I finally solve it using a 3D printer. But first, do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Because the only thing that can truly defeat this problem is awareness. And the more engagement this video gets, the more likely YouTube's algorithm will show it to others. Together we are power. So, what makes a room cozy? Lots of small independent light sources. I don't have enough of those yet, so I clearly need more. And I've got the perfect spot for another lamp, right on the top of my wardrobe. But before we start, let's address one tiny issue. What's the first thing that stands out when you look at a map of Germany? Or better yet, try googling houses in Germany, and you'll see it right away. Let's all say it together, on three. Dachschräge! Have you ever tried finding a lamp for a room with slanted walls? It's impossible! Look, this lamp is small, tiny even, but it still doesn't fit on 25 cm deep shelf. Does that sound normal to you? And according to statistics, more than half of Germans suffer from these crooked walls, and no one talks about it. No protests, no debates in the parliament, nothing. Even in a penny, supermarket ad, the guy is sitting at his Dachschräge desk without a lamp, as if that's completely fine. A desk without a lamp. Is that normal? Sure, he got daylight from the window. But in autumn, it's dark by 4 pm. And what do you even do at the desk after work? Practice your night vision, or what? So I decided to take this problem seriously. The design of the lamp is dictated by the space itself. It will be triangular. Small base, big lamp shade, E14 socket for small round bulbs. At first I wanted to make the shade closed, but even during modeling I had a tiny suspicion that the top part wouldn't print properly. And of course it didn't. Too many overhangs printing in mid-air. I tried adjusting settings and even adding some filler on the inside, so the upper part had at least something to hold onto. But my enthusiasm for tweaking quickly ran out, so I used my favorite design rule. If you can hide it, highlight it. So I chopped off the top completely and printed it again. And it turned out perfect. Well, not really. Towards the end, the printer cuffed out a bulb of filament like a cat with a hairball. But other than that, the shade looks really good. Smooth layers, no warping, and the fuzzy skin texture looks just like fabric from old lampshades. Warm, cozy and very lampish. Then I had a brief creative episode that somehow lasted a few hours. I decided to add internal ribs for structure. So that when the lamp is on, the light would divide into nice visual segments. In theory. In practice, those ribs of strength turned into ribs of weakness. And the segmentation didn't look half as cool as I imagined. And what do you think? Let me know in the comments, I'm really curious. For now, I parked that idea. So, the shade is done, time for the base. It consists of three parts. The base itself, a transition plate, and a nut for the socket. Learning from the previous mistakes, I made the inner walls more gentle this time. But I messed up the layer order a bit, so some of the plastic inside is levitating. And you know what? Who cares? I melted in the inserts, assembled everything and the lamp is ready.
project finished, time for a hard road conclusion that would move you to tears. But not yet. Because one day, while scrolling through AliExpress, I found it. Marble PLA filament. Just look at this beauty. I've seen marble like that only in the Hermitage Museum. So I ordered it immediately. Where else you can touch those luxury for 5 euros delivered to your door? I printed the base on the plate and look at that, gorgeous. Attentive viewers might notice that the base changed a little while the marble was on its way. That's because I realized there enough room inside to hide a small relay, like Shelly or Sonoff, so I adjusted the opening to make it easier to fit one in. Now it's finally done? Nope. Do you ever get obsessed with one tiny detail that just won't leave you alone? It happens to me all the time. This time it was that blob of filament. And also I had one not so new but still interesting idea. See, a lampshade is basically a vase. And modern slicers have a vase mod that prints in continuous spiral, so you get no ugly layer seams. But there's a catch. In vase mod the wall is only one layer thick. Right now my shade has two walls. 0.8mm total with a 0.4mm nozzle. If I print in a vase mod, the wall would be only 0.4mm. Too thin. Solution? Use a bigger 0.8mm nozzle. That gives me the same wall thickness, just one line instead of two. Perfect. So I ordered a new hotend. Because honestly, swapping a hotend feels easier for me than swapping the nozzle. Quick side note. If you're looking for hotends for the Cobra S1, these green ones are actually pretty good. I tried some original copies before, but they lacked the heat resistant sealant the genuine one have. Maybe I just got unlucky, but filament was oozing from every joint. With the green ones, no such problem. Link in the description if you're curious. Back to the shade. With a 0.8mm nozzle, it finally printed exactly how I wanted. Yes, it took 6 tries, but who's counting? I assembled everything, paired the shade with the marble base, and it's done. For bulbs I used Osram ones. Good CRI, and they come with a remote control. And of course, everyone who's ever owned a lamp knows they get lonely alone. So it's better to have them in pairs. That's why I made a smaller companion lamp that will sit on my desk. Same style, different light source. This one uses a small LED like the ones from Bamboo Lab Kids. And I attach the shade to the base with magnets. Turned out even better than I planned. So, there we go. Germany's biggest problem solved. Now we just need someone to take care of Deutsche Bahn and the bureaucracy. And if anyone tells you Dachschrägen aren't a problem in Germany, just show them this video. So, I'm off to print lamp number 3. See you soon, and don't forget, like, subscribe, and bring a little light into every home. All files for printing are in the description below. Bye!